around two years ago, I got my first special. And now, I finally maxed her. And now that I have her outfit and a C6, I can finally make this special appreciation video. And in this video, I will basically go over some of the fun facts and tidbits about her, give you a couple reasons why you should build her, and finally, and show you what my official can do and why I like her so much. So have you ever wondered why Fischl talks the way she does? Well, it's because when she was a small kid, she used to always be in the library reading books because her mom and dad were busy adventurers and she became obsessed with fantasy stories and role plays of a kind-hearted princess and she wanted to be just like them. So to mimic them, she kind of picked up that sophisticated way of speaking to match her idols. In fact, the way she talks is so weird that the Adventures Guild has official diary to understand what she's saying. Another reason could be that she's trying to hide her real self. Now, if you've played her Golden Apple Archipelago story quest, you would know that she's kind of a cosplayer. She has trouble when it comes to dealing with her real self and she uses a facade because she doesn't believe in herself. But in the end, she comes to terms with her real self and it led to a very wholesome end. This is probably one of my favorite story quests in the Golden Apple update. Also, her real name is Amy, and this is probably what she would look like without the eye patch. By the way, let's take a moment to appreciate the Giga Chat that is Oz. This guy is basically a walking Google Translate button for her. Is now, fellas, I'm gonna keep it a stack with you. I do not understand what she's talking about. And if it weren't for Oz, I would probably not be making this video right now. But the official can also see through Oz's eyes, and this helps her with the investigation work. And this probably also made her climb the ranks of the Adventures Girl quickly. Now speaking of Oz, there's also one thing that is common with almost all of the Electra units in this game. And it's the fact that they have a companion with them. For example, Razor has a Lupicle, Fischl has Oz and Raiden has Yaimiko. My theory for this is that because Raiden kept herself in solitude for so long, she knows the pain that comes with it and she does not want anyone to be lonely or to suffer the same fate. So to avoid this, she gives these Electrovision holders a companion to keep them company. But I'm pretty sure that this is wrong so do correct me in the comments. Also, when Amy got her vision, Oz came alongside with it. Her parents also got really happy when they met Oz, because this was the first time she bought a friend over for dinner. Kinda sad, but kinda funny. Now, lore aside, Fischl is also an amazing support. She goes really well with a lot of teams, and she also works really well with my favorite unit, Yoimiya. Having a C6 makes this team pop off, and you know that she'll get some bonus points from me for that. Now, speaking of constellations, another great thing about her is that her constellations are amazing. She might be one of the few characters in this game that only have good and useful constellations. But there's this one thing that I really hate about her, and it's the fact that she takes damage when she's in like the Oz form. Shouldn't this be like a thing that she uses to reposition herself when she's in danger? This is like a very minor, but still a very dumb issue. Now, I would say that you should build her because of the new skin, but I gotta be honest, this skin does not look much different from her OG skin. This also looks like it was taken straight out of Honkai. I'm not gonna lie, I kinda prefer the OG outfit, because it goes really well with the signature bow. But with that being said, this skin is free, and we get a free official alongside it. So so I won't complain about it. Another kind of cool thing about Fischl is her auto attacks. So I was taking pictures for the thumbnail and I saw that after the third normal attack animation, she does this evil laugh animation. And if you let it play it out and start normal attacking again, she's gonna continue with the chain. But this doesn't work with the other bow units. This basically means that she's so deep into her persona of being a princess that halfway through her animations, she's gonna look at her opponents and laugh for a couple of seconds. But now, this is enough talking, let's see how my Fischl performs. Now, I usually use Fischl as a support for Yoimiya, but for this showcase, I'm going to be using her as the main DPS. And for this build, I'm going to be using the Thundering Pulse, mainly because I got it recently and it looks amazing on her. For the artifacts, I'm going to be using the 2-piece Attack and 2-piece Thundering Fury set. There's a lot of improvement with the artifacts, but still, I end up with a pretty decent ratio and also the attack is fine. Her talents are at 6, 10 and 9 and she is at C6. So now, let's see how my main DPS special performs with the best possible team that I can give her. Kazuo Swirl, Bennett, oh, I fucked it up, I fucked it up. Uh. Boom, boom, and oh my god, I fucked it up. 56,000. Let's go, let's go, yeah, boom, boom. Okay, that, that did not work. Let's go, let's go, Fischl. 19k, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Hey, yo, chill, chill. So yeah, Fischl's amazing, and with the new skin coming out, you have no reason to not try her out. Trust me, she's worth the resin. So yeah. 
That's it. And I'll see you bozo soon.